What's good, Josh? The Gamma Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. John Morant, although he's been in a lot of off-court trouble, I feel like in the mix of things, people have forgotten how special he is on the court. And this season, Ja averaged 26.2 points per game, 8.1 assists, and he shot 46% from the field. And I feel like Ja Morant is just one of the most special players in the NBA because he's just extremely athletic and just a point guard's body. And he just impacts the game so much offensively that I felt the need to show you guys how. On this play, we see John Moran in transition. And after a little stop and go, he's able to just drive to the rim and finish with some contact. You see how he hangs in the air, just shows up the great leaping ability that he has. Great stuff right there from Ja. And here on this play, once again, Ja grabs the rebound and then he's just going. And then he's able to just stop and just shift Mike Conley one way and get to the floater. John Moran is really good at getting to those floaters. You'll see that, you know, throughout this video that He's really good at getting to the floater. Here on this play, once again, he goes the full length of the court after getting the rebound and then just finishes through some contact and one. And then here on this play, we're going to see John Morant. And then he gets, he gets the ball, gets a ball screen from Steven Adams. And when you're sagging off John Morant like this, he's not really gun shot when it comes to shooting threes. He shot 30% this season, but he still put up a lot of them. Here, we see a great behind the back to get rid of his first defender. And then he just kind of steps through the next defender, Tari Eason, stretches out and then gets a nice finish with his offhand, high off the glass. Great touch around the rim. Here on this play, once again, using screens to get, you know, where he needs to go. Great contest by Sabonis right there, but John Moran makes the floor to go. Here on this play, once again, just look at how John Moran can hang in the air, fake the pass, and then still throw up a little floater with both hands. Great stuff right there. Crazy athleticism from, a, from the guy this small. Crazy stuff right there. And then here on this play, we see John Morant once again using the screen, getting to the lane, sees that Jared Allen is in, is in drop, so he jumps right into the floater. Here on this play, we're going to see John Morant, and he gets a ball screen, a nice split cross, and he's able to just hang in the air, and it's still finished through a little bit of contact. Here on this play, we just see John Morant's, you know, strong handle, and he's just going to cross Dennis Schroeder over and just finish through Anthony Davis, one of the best paint defenders in the NBA. Great stuff right there, showing off the strength and the handle. Here on this play, he rejects the screen, and it does a little sidestep, and it finishes on the other side to avoid Mobley. Great awareness and just great finishing touch. Here on this play, dancing around screens, Rudy Gobert drops, so obviously he's going to go to the floater. Don't want to challenge that all the, all the time. And then here on this play, we just see a crazy speed that he has. After just sizing his defender up, he just decides to, you know, go to that second gear, and then finishes through some contact. Great stuff. Here on this play, we're going to see him get another ball screen from Steven Adams. Has Rui, but Rui Hachimura behind him, so he goes to the floater. Great stuff. Here, once again, grab and go. And then he just so fast, just kind of edges his way past D'Angelo Russell. Great stuff right there. And then here on this way, John Moran gets the screen from Steven Adams. Once again, a split cross to kind of confuse his defender and freeze him. And then he gets right to the high floater. Great stuff right there. And then here on this play, once again, he's in isolation. And then he just kind of slows it down. And then re, you know, goes to that second gear again. And he's able to get all the way to the rim. Great stuff. Really hard to guard him in open space when he can just run like that. You know, on this play, once again, they go way under the screen. So he just pops that triple. Great stuff right there from John Morant. And then here on this play, once again, we see Josh is just not trigger shy when it comes to shooting threes. And he launches a bomb right here to pretty much steal this game away. Great stuff right there. But John Morant shot 30% from three this season. He can get better there, but... It's encouraging that he's, you know, willing to shoot them here. Just a great behind the back. And he's able to just finish through a bunch of people. Great, you know, con great craft around the rim right there. Just elite, elite stuff. Elite finishing and elite handles. Here on this play, he rejects the screen. And then just a nasty Euro step to shift the defender out of the way. And then he just gets to the short floater. Great stuff right there. Just great body control. Elite around the paint moves. Great stuff. And then here on this play... Too much sagging, so he just pulls up for the mid-range shot. And the mid-range shot is something I feel like he can add more to his game. That will make him a better scorer. But here on this play, once again, he just, you know, changes speeds in the middle of the game. Great stuff right there. And here on this play, after the missed free throw and passes out to Tyus, we see John Morant's nuclear athleticism as he just skies for the alley-oop pass from Tyus Jones. And here on this play, this is a crazy play right here because... Ja just going to leap into the air, steal the pass, great behind the back to get around Larry Nance. And then just once again, look at where he takes off from and just look how he can just seemingly float through the air. Great stuff right there. Here on this play, they run a little Chicago action, handoff, 
and then that allows Ja to get downhill. And when if you can get Ja downhill like this, it's usually a wrap. Even though Davion Mitchell was all over him here on this play, just great way to get around Jordan Clarkson and then finish with the left hand. Great stuff right there. And here on this play, runs past Cal onto the screen and then just gets to the floater after the split cross once again. So the split cross floater combo is something you're going to see a lot from him. You know, you watch him play here on this play, projects the screen and stops short before getting the charge. And he's able to kind of shoot the little floater off the glass. Great stuff. And then here on this play, we just see another, you know, more screen to roll. And then even with the air box on his hip, he still comfortably gets to that floater. And then here on this play, we just see the crazy speed and athleticism once again. And then he just blows past Killian Hayes, rides up for the emphatic slam. Great stuff right there. And then here on this play, we're going to see him get a little handoff once again. And then just great handle right there. Great little crossover move to step back and just knock down the mid-range shot. And then here on this play, we see he gets cut off. Just he never stops going. And after Jared Allen's is sealed, he just was able to go to the paint, get the layup. Great stuff right there. And then here on this play, once again, a grab and go situation. And notice how Josh just never stops. He just keeps pressing forward, a little hesitation cross, and then he's able to get right to the rim. So you need to have a lot of defenders in the paint just to guard Josh. Here on this play, after the, switch, after the switch, he's able to just show off the great speed and just great body control and midair and strength to be able to finish through contact like that. And then here on this play, once again, ball screen from Steven Adams leads to the floater. Great stuff right there. So drop. Not really working against him if he has that floater in his arsenal. And here on this play, you see him attack off the catch. And even even though he was off balance, he's still able to get that, that layup to go. Great stuff right there from Ja. And then here on this play, just look at his crazy behind the back. He never even broke his stride. And he's still able to finish on the other side of the rim with his offhand. Just crazy handle and just crazy ball control from a guy moving so fast. And then here on this play, we just see he's just going to size Aaron Gordon up. And then just go right to the rim, go through him, bump him out the way. Great stuff right there to finish through that. And then here on this play, we see once again a little pick and roll with Steven Adams, who's huge for the Jaws game. Crosses over and then does a little hesitation. He's still able to get to the rim. So when, when Jaw gets downhill like that, it's just crazy. And then here on this play, we see Ja gets the intention of Rashawn Holmes. So he throws the off-handed lob to Steven Adams. So like I said before, Ja Morant is a really good playmaker and can impact the game as a playmaker as well as he can as a scorer. Here on this play, he forces the help from Tatum. That leads to Tyus Jones getting a hard closeout and he's able to pull up with a mid-range. And then here on this play, at the Nimhard turns the ball over, we're gonna see John transition. And then he's gonna throw a fake bounce pass to kind of shift Nimbard over. And then he's able to find Ty Jones in the corner for a wide open three. And then Ty Jones knocks it down. Great stuff right there from Ja. And just great manipulation once again, like the great passes doing the NBA. And then here on this play, after the blitz from the Timberwolves, he finds Brandon Clark on the roll really fast. So great processing right there. Great way to, you know, avoid the trap and just get the ball where it needs to be. Here, he just blows by his man, forces the help, and then throws a lot to Brandon Clark. So when you can generate room pressure like this, you're going to force a lot of help. And that's going to force defenders to get out of position. And then you can find your teammates like that. And John Morant is really great at that. Here on this play, perfectly, perfectly placed lob to Jaron Jackson Jr. Just great stuff right there. Here in transition, great bullet pass in transition to find Santi Aldama. And he just is able to dunk it in transition. And then here on this play, we see John Morant once again. A couple of escape dribbles, not really succumbing to the pressure of the trap. And then he's able to find his teammate for a nice floater in the middle of the court. Here on this play, after they reject the screen, Draymond has to slide over. So he's able to just pass it to the strong side corner. And then he's able to knock down the three. So like once again, his play make i mean his rim pressure just drawing the defense here bounce ball out of the way a mid-air pass and then he forces that man to jump into the air and then doesn't man is able to knock down the three so john morant really great score probably some of the best rim pressure in the nba probably one of the best passes in the nba and just an, a super elite athlete but if he can just become a better shooter is he shot 30 percent this season but he shot higher percentages in the past so I think if his jump shot progresses along, he can easily be a 30 point per game scorer in this league. And he averaged eight assists this season. And if the scoring gets better than the passing, you know, playmaker prowess is obviously gonna rise. So I think John Moran is, you know, obviously the point guard of the future, one of the best players in the NBA. 
And despite all off-court stuff, and despite him being suspended for 25 games next season, I think next season he's going to take, you know, another step. So John Morant, one of the best point guards in the NBA. Love his game. If you stay tuned to this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.